Ripple vs. SEC case settlement According to the chief executive officer of the company, the protracted legal conflict that has been going on between the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and the fintech startup Ripple may be nearing its conclusion. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to our channel, which is a channel in which we provide you with the daily information regarding XRP. In the video that we are going to see today, we will get some information regarding a potential resolution to the dispute between the SEC and Ripple. Please watch this video all the way through to the finish so that you may find out what else we have for you. The time has come to begin our video, so let's not waste any more time. He continued, we're optimistic that this will certainly be resolved in 2023 and maybe in the first half, so we'll see how it plays out from here, but I feel very good about where we are relative to the law and the facts. This interview took place on January 18, 2019 at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Garland House gave the interview. You may already be aware of this, but the SEC came down hard on the cryptocurrency sector in December of 2020. When the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, filed a lawsuit against Ripple and two of its executives, Brad Garland House and Chris Larson, it asserted that Ripple and its executives had offered XRP-based unregistered securities. The lawsuit was filed after the SEC had already filed a lawsuit against Ripple. The SEC is concerned about XRP because it considers it to be a security rather than a kind of money. Trading laws for securities are significantly more stringent than those for money. The case brought on by the SEC has been one of the topics that has generated the greatest discussion and contention in the cryptocurrency industry over the past two years. It is highly likely that this incident, more than any other single subject or topic, was what influenced the path of cryptocurrency. The price of XRP has been significantly impacted in a negative way by the legal situation. It is believed that the lawsuit, which Forbes has dubbed the cryptocurrency trial of the century, will set a precedent for the cryptocurrency market in the United States moving ahead. If Ripple prevails in this case, it might pave the way for more transparent regulations in the United States. But in that case, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, would have a powerful tool at its disposal to go after other Bitcoin enterprises. As Bitcoins pointed out, speculation on the relevance of the documents has been going on for quite some time. John Deaton, an attorney for the XRP community, formerly had the opinion that the records may compel the SEC to reach a settlement with Ripple, but he has now abandoned that belief. John Deaton no longer holds that belief. Garland House, CEO of Ripple, stated yesterday at a fireside chat that if the emails come to light, the public will be shocked, but the SEC will act. If the emails come to light, according to Garland House, the public will be shocked, but the SEC will act. However, if the Hinman emails are made public, the cryptocurrency community may expect an explosive disclosure. Because of the ongoing legal dispute and the fact that the documents have not been made available to the general public, the CEO of Ripple emphasized that he must be more ambiguous in his statements because some of this information has not yet been made public. This is due to the fact that the documents have not been made available to the general public. However, according to Garland House, Bill Hinman, the Director of Corporate Finance at the SEC, gave a speech in June 2018 about F having been a security but has magically not become a security, and there are some emails associated with that. Garland House also stated that there are some emails associated with that. Whenever those facts become known, Given what they were stating within its own gates, I don't think you'll be able to see how it is feasible for the SEC to have decided to pursue a case against Ripple in the first place. In addition to this, Garlinghouse criticized the SEC again and again for their enforcement of regulations. This approach to regulation has never been proven effective. If you wish to govern the Ripple effect, you should help the firm comprehend the regulation so that it can take steps to ensure that it is followed. If you want to govern something, CTO stated, you should put in the effort to write the regulations. Garland House has had personal discussions with members of the SEC on three separate occasions, and not once during any of those conversations has the SEC brought up the possibility that XRP could be a security, as he said in the fireside chat. 
The SEC was criticized by the CEO of Ripple for its ambiguous stance, as well as for purportedly considering XRP as a security from the very beginning without informing either the firm or the CEO. Garland House remarked that this does not feel like a genuine cooperation between the public sector and the commercial sector. He also reaffirmed Ripple General Counsel Stuart Eldorado his previous prediction that the more than two-year legal dispute with the SEC will be over and single-digit months, and he added that he is still optimistic about a successful outcome. This prediction was based on his previous prediction that the dispute will be over and single-digit months. The long-running legal dispute between the United States Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple's is almost at its conclusion. James K. Phillip, a prominent American defense attorney, tweeted today to inform his more than 138,000 followers that as of the 19th of January, 2023, everything related to the case fill-in has been briefed. This suggests that Ripple and the SEC, the parties, have filed the appropriate documents, such as motions to seal all records pertaining to the summary judgment motions and moves from summary judgment. The tweet from Finland was sent with the intention of informing the XRP community about any changes to the date of the lawsuits before rendering a judgment. At this very moment, Judge Annalisa Torres is reading over all of the various briefs that have been submitted by the parties. In response to the tweet, members of the XRP community thanked Philan for keeping them updated on the protracted legal battle that has lasted for more than two years in the comment area. Jeremy Hogan, an attorney and partner at Hogan and Hogan, was one of many people who believe Phil and his first job in forming the cryptocurrency community might result in a Ripple lawsuit. In the year 2020, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, lodged a formal complaint against Ripple and its personnel for allegedly selling unregistered securities. In December 2022, Ripple and the SEC submitted their final wave of documents, asking for a summary judgment in the case. Two years later, each of them leveled the accusation that the other had abused the court system against the other. It is possible that the judge's judgment will lead to a settlement outside of court, so avoiding a trial. According to Garland House, a decision of this nature is expected to be made sometime in the next single-digit months, possibly as early as June. We have always stated that we would love to settle, but it requires one very important thing, and that is that on a going-forward basis, it is clear that XRP is not a security. This decision is anticipated to be made sometime in the next single-digit months. As the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Gary Gensler, has insisted that XRP and the vast majority of other crypto assets are securities, he believes that they should be registered and subject to the same regulations as stockbroker jets, which leaves very little room in the Venn diagram for settlement. In answer to Jensen's question, a member of the Ripple executive team shared their thoughts on cryptocurrencies. Densler also stated the fact that the Ethereum staking system, which led the investment public to anticipate profits dependent on the efforts of others, is another reason why it is the security of the future for the cryptocurrency. Garland House emphasized that a negative judgment for Ripple would have an influence on the entire cryptocurrency industry and that this would cause enterprises to leave the country. The significance of this, not only to Ripple but to the entirety of the cryptocurrency business in the United States, has been emphasized to me on multiple occasions here in Davis, where I am currently based. The Anticipated Value of XRP The value of most cryptocurrencies has climbed by an average of 20% since this time last year, which bodes well for their prospects in 2023. XRP, in particular, has been one of the top performing cryptocurrencies over the past three weeks, with gains of up to 30% since the beginning of the year. Assuming that this trend continues throughout the year, the price of XRP will almost certainly increase in tandem with the whole cryptocurrency market. In addition, XRP prices have surged high, coming dangerously close to the previous ATA and even surpassing it, hitting beyond $3. The researcher noted in a recent update on the company's XRP trading that the corporation purchased the dump at New Year's with unusually high volume and that the corporation is currently selling it with unusually high volume. This is true even if the litigation with the SEC is settled, which the researcher noted in the same update. Don't forget to take out the trash on New Year's.
It seems that Ripple made an unusually large purchase of the dump in the past, and it now appears that they are making an extremely large sale of the same item. Who knows what the real explanation is, this is all supposition. According to Mr. Huber, the reference data used by the researchers come from the Official Application Programming Interface, API. Because the researchers are so transparent about where the data come from, Mr. Huber claims that the researchers can access weekly data from their API rather than having to wait for quarterly reports. Surprisingly, the company is selling four times as much XRP right now as it has on average over the course of the previous two years. When October of the previous year came to a close, the researcher shared the findings of his investigation on Twitter near the beginning of his presentation. At the time, he expressed astonishment that nobody had pursued the matter further about the company's XRP holdings that do not revert to the escrow. This is supported by the company's most recent quarterly report for Q3 2022, which stated that it has purchased XRP on the secondary market and anticipated doing so in the future as on-demand liquidity or oddball. Gains traction around the world. Additionally, Ripple's total XRP sales or net purchases fell from $408.90 million in Q2 2022 to $310.68 million in Q3 of 2022. The company emphasized that coming ahead, it will never sell XRP in isolation and will do so exclusively in conjunction with OTL transactions. In addition to this, it indicated that it had no plans to continue doing so in the future and that it has not participated in any programmatic sales since the fourth quarter of 2019. The video for today has come to an end, and I sincerely hope that you found it to be of great use. What are your thoughts on the outcome of the lawsuit and the potential for XRP's price to increase in the near future? Please leave your thoughts in the comment space below to encourage others to participate in the conversation. You can help us reach more people by giving our films a like and sharing them with the people in your network. If this is your first time visiting, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can view our daily videos and receive notifications whenever we upload new content. Do not overlook the opportunity to take part in the giveaway by clicking the bell button. And I'd like to thank you for watching. New films are on the way, so be sure to subscribe to our channel, and in the meantime, see you later.